Look, I just want to say that uh, education is a priority for the Labour government. That's why when the global financial crisis uh, hit all around the world, the government said that we had to make education a priority for our investment uh, in schools. We said education is so important. And we believe that public education is absolutely essential to the future health of our community. And we hear much about the economy, but the economy can't survive without a very, very strong and world-class education system. And that's what the Labour government is determined to do, to build a world-class education system because the future of this country depends on the children that are here before us at the moment. So it's so, so important. And I've got to say, there's been much debate and controversy about public education and private education over the past uh, few months. And I want to say unequivocally from my perspective, having two daughters brought up in the public education system, they came, uh, my two daughters, uh, were educated in primary school at Musselbrook Primary up in the Hunter Valley. Uh, so they were brought up in the bush. Some people say it's not the bush, I think it's the bush. And uh, they uh, both came to Sydney and they went to St. Clair High School. And they've both got, my two daughters have both got degrees and they're both professional women who have got uh, very good careers. It's thanks to the public education system and the skill and the capacity of the teachers in the public education system that my two daughters have got degrees. I have to say also my grandchild, uh, Amy, uh, she's in K1 at Mount Riverview Primary School. And I say to her, do you like school? And she says she loves it. She loves school. I never ever said that. So school has changed a lot in 50 years. And it's, when you look around at these schools up here, they are fabulous, and they get fabulous teachers, fab, absolutely fabulous teachers uh, in the public education system. And I don't think denigrating teachers is a way forward, because teachers play such an important role for education in this country. And Amy loves her school at Mount Riverview, so my grandchild's there, Scott, who will go to Mount Riverview uh, next year, he'll be five. I just live around the corner, uh, so I've been here a couple of times, we had some discussions about the BER, uh, when the BER kicked off, we've had some discussions about changing education in the Gonski report, so I must say the, the Howard and his team here are always engaged in the future of education and play a great role in the local community about making sure education as a, is at the top of the political agenda because I've been brought here a couple of times and it's been a, a good opportunity to engage. I'm pleased to say that the, 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 the arguments about the BER have to be put in the context that it was about actually creating jobs during what could have been a recession. So there were some problems, there were some, some issues around the country, but predominantly when you see what's been delivered by the BER, it's been absolutely fabulous. And everywhere I go, there's not any complaints. Actually, what people say to me, can we get more money? Because there's so much more that can be done and needs to be done in public education. And I think that's got to be a priority for government in terms of investment in the public education system. Now, I know it's your 50th birthday, but I just wanted to, to come to a, a sharp political issue, and forgive me for this at the moment, but, you know, we've had an argument being put up, and uh, the leader of the opposition, Tony Abbott, said that overall, now I'm quoting, the 66% of Australian school students who attend public schools get 79% of government funding. The 34% of Australians who attend independent schools get just 21% 20, 20, of government funding. And then Tony Abbott was on to say, so there is no question of injustice to public schools here. If anything, the injustice is the other way. 
I don't know how anyone could come to that conclusion. I've gone all over Macquarie doing BERs, both private schools and public schools. I've been to New England and private schools and public schools. And anyone who thinks that the public school system are overfunded, I've got a bizarre view of what is needed in the public school system. And my challenge is to anyone in public life, if you are making statements like that, then you have to justify them. My experience, we hear a lot about the experience on the ground, my experience is that the private school system is well funded, that's because people are putting their own money into private schools, they make that call, that's their choice, and that's fine. But the public school system is the backbone of education in this country, and that's what every government's priority should be, to make sure that the public school system is well funded, and communities like Blacksland can send their kids to a school like this with confidence that we've got fantastic teachers and we have got terrific resources. I won't go through all of the Gonski uh, assessments about the, the current school funding, but Gonski, the review that took place, says simply that the school funding system is not right, it's opaque, and that the priority should be for schools that need the funding, not schools that don't need the funding. And that's what this government wants to do. And that's why we said we want to make sure that during the BER, during the global financial crisis, we put money into the public education system. And why wouldn't you look at these kids here? Fabulous kids, fabulous kids that get the future before them, but they need that base and they need the, the education system to give them the best opportunities to get decent wages and decent careers in the future. And that's why the priority <coughs> must be for the majority, and that is, <coughs> excuse me, in the public education system. That's the politics gone, but it's an important point that had to be made, and I just think that debate will continue, and I look forward to engaging in that debate within Macquarie uh, in the lead up to the next election to make sure the public education system is well funded in this seat. Can I say, kids, you've been absolutely fabulous. I think there's more speeches to come, so I'm going to cut this short. I want to thank everyone who has been here, uh, who have uh, you know, done, uh, put together this. I want to thank, the uh, again, the uh, school captains for the welcome they've given me. And I am uh, very, very pleased to declare these uh, refurbishments and the, uh, the school uh, uh, covered area open. So thanks very much and thanks everyone for your patience. to the school captains and the principal the plaque that says $2.65 million was spent on this school, a great public school, a school that celebrates its 50th anniversary, and what a, what a birthday present that was, $2.65 million. Thanks very much. <laughs>